Welcome to VM Blog's coverage of KubeCon Cloud Native Con 2023 taking place in Chicago. Today, I have the pleasure of having Alan Shreve, who's the Chief Executive Officer at NGROC. Welcome. Uh, it's uh, great to be here. Pleasure to be, to be speaking to both of you. So I think this is the first time uh, VM Blog has spoken with uh, NGROC. So if you could give us kind of a quick overview of the company. Absolutely. Uh, NGROC is a, a unified ingress platform. Uh, we build uh, essentially a, um, a globally distributed uh, reverse proxy that secures and protects and accelerates your applications. Um, so application delivery. Um, NGROC got started uh, almost you know uh, 10 years ago um, in the developer tooling space. Um, where we initially got started uh, working with developers, helping them test webhooks, and has uh, expanded into um, handling ingress for all use cases uh, from development all the way into production now. Um, we've, uh, we're, we're really proud of uh, the kind of like massive adoption that we've, we've achieved in that time. Uh, and Grok has more than 6 million developers on uh, our platform. Um, in you know, kind of every every uh, continent across all industries, um, and we're we're really uh, proud and excited about uh, the the way that we've been able to um, accelerate uh, innovation on the internet. Thinking about the uh, the types of attendees that are going to be at the event, how does NGROC fit within the ecosystem that's going to be discussed at the uh, at the KubeCon Cloud Native Con? uh trade show uh you know there are there are any number of uh folks who will be interested in in what we're building um i would say that the the audiences who are going to be most interested are going to be folks um you know who are uh developers or you know devops uh sorts of folks um these days if you're you know speaking in terms of like platform engineering uh kind of like folks who are uh developers in that platform engineering world leaders of platform engineering teams um those folks are always uh you know thinking you know about how uh they've constructed the platform for application developers at their organizations to deliver applications to the world um, and a major piece of that is uh, the network ingress component um, which is exactly where we're at rock fits now, for people uh, that are going to be at the event, what are the specific problems that NGROC solves for them? And maybe you could talk about some use cases for your product. Yeah, so NGROC, uh, as I mentioned earlier, is a, a globally distributed reverse proxy. Um, it secures, protects, and accelerates your application services and networks, um, no matter where you run them. Um, NGROC, uh, essentially like means that it, it solves a number of different uh, interesting use cases. I think the one, uh, you know, for folks at KubeCon, the ones that will be um, uh, top of mind the most are going to be uh, folks who are thinking about like, what does their next generation, uh, you know, kind of ingress for, you know, web applications. So like a web application gateway or an API gateway. Um, and Grok sits like firmly in, in that uh, bucket. Um, and there's another set of use cases as well. NGROC is, uh, you know, so adept at creating ingress into networks. One of the other major use cases that we see is there is this broadening trend in the industry um, in many ways motivated by um, or enabled by Kubernetes. Um, uh, uh, if you've seen a lot of companies are, are in bring your own cloud kind of architectures now where you're able to like bring your own compute or data plane um, with, with storage capabilities. Um, and when you operate in that model, you need your customers to create ingress for you to be able to access those uh, resources that uh, that you're creating for them to use. Um, and because NGROC is so adept at creating uh, ingress in an automated um, and secured fashion, uh, we have many customers who use NGROC as that piece of ingress that their own, that their customers run to create uh, access to those resources in that uh, bring your own cloud piece. Now, at the show, there's there's well over 200 uh, vendors that are going to be on the uh, the expo floor for attendees to come by and, and and check out. 
thinking about NGROC, if you could maybe double click a bit on your technology offerings and describe it in a little bit more detail. And then, you know, what makes it unique or differentiated? So NGROC offers, and this is, uh, you know, kind of the, the most concrete uh, piece here uh, creates a offers a Kubernetes ingress controller um, or Kubernetes operator really um, that allows you to create ingress into those networks uh, that you into those uh, Kubernetes clusters that you run it in. Um, it works with the standard uh, kind of Kubernetes uh, ingress objects, um, but also works with its own set of CRDs if you want additional capability on top of what uh, the ingress um, uh, standard gives you. Um, compared to other folks uh, who are creating like kind of like those kind of uh, Kubernetes operators to create ingress, uh, NGROC does a number of things differently. Um, the one that I would say is the most interesting is that um, unlike other ingress operators, uh, NGROC is pushing or delegating uh, the ingress that it creates out to NGROC's global network of uh, points of presence. So when you run NGROC's Kubernetes operator, um, it's actually reaching out to NGROC's global network and reconfiguring uh, essentially our global uh, points of presence uh, to receive traffic on your behalf, which means that all of the traffic that you receive into your clusters uh, is accelerated because we are pushing out middleware execution and TLS termination to our global network. Um, and even more than that, uh, it's also environment independent, right? Like most, uh, you know, if you create a Kubernetes operator uh, inside of Azure or GCP, you're still responsible for wiring in a number of other things like DNS and uh, IPs and things that are different uh, based on each cloud. NROG works the same in every Kubernetes environment, uh, even like K3S or Minikube, uh, if you run NROG on your laptop in those, uh, or, you know, in a CI job, for, for example, um, and Rock will create ingress in exactly the same way. The only other piece that I'll, I'll uh, highlight there is that uh, and Rock also approaches the problem from a unified standpoint. Um, basically, and Rock is, you know, consolidating and smushing together many different pieces of the ingress stack to enable that for you, right? We are handling DNS and IP management, we're handling your firewall configurations and uh, IP restrictions, as well as higher layer uh, application level uh, functionality that you might find in uh, an API gateway um, as well. So those would be things like, uh, you know, validation of payloads and authentication, um, federated auth flows. All of that is being merged into a single um, piece uh, that is developer defined. Now at um, KubeCon, a lot of people use this time to announce new product releases, uh, things like that. Is there anything that um, NGROC, you know, leading up to KubeCon has uh, announced or had? Yeah, uh, just recently, uh, the the thing that we announced most recently is uh, our uh, GSLB implementation. This is our global service server load balancing piece. We talked about that uh, global network um, in our, our previous description of like what makes NBROC distinct. Um, one of the things that we, we just released is the ability for essentially you to run multiple copies of your cluster and then NBROC will intelligently route uh, traffic to the geographically nearest location depending on the points of presence that your traffic connects to. Um, and we've also implemented that piece so that uh, connections into your network always go to the geographically nearest points of points of presence um, for us. So this is a, an acceleration, a way to accelerate your applications. Um, so we just re released that recently. Um, we're not going to be making any specific announcements at KubeCon per se, um, but uh, you know, two other things to note are. One that we just uh, released additional capability in our uh, Kubernetes operator that allows you to receive uh, both raw TCP and uh, TLS traffic directly um, into the networks. Um, so expanding beyond you know the capabilities of what the the ingress um, standard allows here with our our own CRDs. Um, and then if you stop by our booth, uh, we're going to be doing a joint demo together with uh, the folks at uh, Linkerd. Very cool. 
right? Well, one of the things that's going to be happening at the show, uh, obviously, is, uh, you know, we'll be hearing about big picture items and futures on the keynote stage. What are some of the themes uh, or trends that uh, you or your company is most interested in as we uh, head into 2024? Bangrock is is most interested in uh, you know all, all of the developments going on around the Kubernetes Gateway API um, that uh, you know uh, working group and, and specification is uh, what we're following along with and what we're we're most interested in tracking. Um, so we're we're really excited as uh, the Gateway API marches towards standardization and understanding how we can best uh, support and enable the folks who are for the early adopters and beginning to to leverage that specification um, for additional power uh, around ingress into Kubernetes clusters. And lastly, uh, would it be possible for us to get a quick demo of the product? Absolutely. Um, I will uh, let, let me get that up on my screen. We'll jump right in. The NGROC ingress controller is the fastest way to enable secure internet access to your Kubernetes workloads without requiring additional provisioning of internet URLs, public IPs, DNSs, and other things you would need over the internet. With the ingress controller from NGROC, you can just decide and define these rules and these requirements from your deployment manifest. And when you run your cluster, it communicates with NGROC in the cloud and provides everything you need to get your application going. It doesn't matter where your cluster is deployed. It could be in AWS, in GCP, even in your local host. Like in my example here, we're going to show in a second, and you get that consistent access. More than that, NGROC also provides middleware functionality over the edge. So you're not only enabling access to your cluster and to your workloads, but you're doing this in a secure way. This middleware provides functionality varying, varying from load balancing and encryption all the way to authentication and observability. And it's also offloading all these uh, requirements and responsibilities from your cluster. For example, if you get a wrong request, an authorized request, it's blocked even before reaching your infrastructure, saving you some overhead and also making things simple and more consistent. Let me show that with an example. I have my Kubernetes cluster running here in my local host, port 8081. It's a 2048 game. And when you look at my deployment manifest, you will see the traditional Kubernetes deployment with an ingress the out-of-the-box Nginx provided with Kubernetes. As you can see here, quite simple. Let's replace that with the NGROC version of it. The NGROC ingress controller uses the same uh, standard notation for ingress from Kubernetes. So we are working on the standard. So I'm just going to comment this out in and comment the ingress controller. And as I do so, I want to bring attention to a couple of things. Like I said, we're using the standard Kubernetes notation. And there are three things worth the attention here. The first one is that here we're signaling we're using the NGROC version of the controller. The second is this is the host or the URL in which my application will be available from the internet. You can pick your own domain if you would like to. We have integration with your own domain. But in my case here, I'm going to use ngroc.io, which is available for free, and you can use at any time. So I'm using my own subdomain here. And the third one is that we have an annotation here. So we are using a custom resource definition, uh, leveraging the Kubernetes extensibility to turn on and to set up the middleware modules available in NGROC. For my annotation here, I'm going to do two things. The first one, I'm using the circuit breaker module. So if my application goes over the threshold, there are many errors, NGROC will automatically cancel requests for a time to alleviate the back pressure. And the second one is that I'm using authentication, more specifically social auth from Google. And also I'm making sure that only Google users with the email at ngroc.com can access my application. I don't need to get all the details about the auth and social authentication. I just need to save my deployment manifest here apply my config, and as soon as I do this, within seconds, my application talks to NGROC 
in the cloud and get everything I need provisioned across all the global points of presence from Ngrok. So if I go back here and I try localhost once again, it won't work because I don't have that middleware, sorry, that ingress controller available anymore. But now if I try Ngrok, which by the way includes HTTPS, for example, as one of the facilities, I need to go through the middleware module. Like I said, if the access is not right, for example, here, I'm trying a gmail.com, which should not work. It doesn't go well. But if I try that email, which is authorized according to my middleware rules, I'm gonna get access to my application. So to recap, with the Ngrok ingress controller, you can define all these uh, ingress rules in the provisioning, in the module, in the middleware that you need straight from your deployment manifest without having to configure public IPs, URLs on the internet, edges, global points of presence, and it works everywhere. Your cluster could be sitting on-prem, in your laptop, in different cloud providers. You get that same consistent security in access and acceleration. Well, thank you for uh, joining us today and providing all that great information. As we wrap things up, uh, I just want to ask, you know, if you could tell folks, uh, other than obviously we want to tell everyone that's at the show to please come by the NGROC booth. Uh, but for the folks who aren't and are just watching this video from home, where can they go if they want to learn more information about NGROC or any of the things that we talked about today? The easiest place to learn more about NGROC is at our website, uh, ngroc.com. Um, you can sign up for free, uh, and we have a generous free tier, and then pay-as-you-go plans. So as you scale up your production traffic, uh, you, you only pay for what you use. Um, makes it really easy to get started and try out all of our functionality. Awesome. Well, great. Well, thanks again for joining VM Blog, and we look forward to seeing you at the uh, at KubeCon. David, Brian, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much for having me on.